Now in this question, we have to sketch and label this on the same diagram, the graph of this and the graph of this for the interval of 0 and pi. Now one by one, let's begin with this. So we have y equals to 2 sine of x. Now as always, whenever we have to sketch a graph, use a table of values, right? So here we have the x value and the y value. So here we have from 0 till pi, I begin with 0. Now what is the interval that I will choose? Now because the coefficient of x is 1, I will choose 90 divided by 1, that is 90, which is pi by 2. So plus 90, plus 90, that should be pi. Replace back in the equation, you have 2 sine of pi. So 0 first, 2 sine of 0, that should be 0. Then we have 2 sine of pi by 2, that should be 2. And then 2 sine of pi 180, that should be 0. As you can see, that will be my graph for this one. Now let's move on with the other one. So we have what? We have y is equal to cos 2x. This is my x values and my y values. Again, I will begin with 0. Now, what are the intervals I can choose? Because I have the value here is 2, I will take 90 divided by 2, that will be 45, which is pi by 4. Pi by 4 again, excuse me, and that should be uh, pi by 2. Pi by 4 again, that should be 135, that should be 3 pi over 4, and finally, that should be pi. Right? We increase by 45, 45, 45 degrees, 45 degrees, which is pi by 4 radians. Now, finding the corresponding values of x, pretty easy. First one, uh, cos of 0, that should be 1. Here we have cos of uh, 2 times 45, cos of 90, that should be 0. Here we have 90, so cos of 180, that should be minus 1. And here we have 135, so times 2 will be 270, so cos of 270, that should be 0 as well. And cos of 360, that should be 1. Okay, great. So now we can see we have a few values over here. We can sketch the graph. This is the y-axis. Of course, you will be using a ruler. Don't, don't, don't do that. So you have this over here. Right, so here we have y, here we have the values of x, so ha here I have 0, let's say here we have pi by 4, pi by 2, 3 pi by 4, and finally pi. Now for the first one here, I will have 0, let's say my value of 1 is here, value of 2 is here, 1 minus 1 is here, minus 2 is here. For example, right? Just to help us sketch this graph. Now, first one is um, 0, 0, and we have pi by 2 uh, is 2. That should be somewhere over here. And then we have this will be 0 again. As you can see, here will be our graph for the first one. Should be something like this. Right. I guess you can try better, make it more smooth, but that should be my graph for y equals to. 2 sine x. The next one, we have to cos 2x, so first one, 0, 1, that should be here. That should be here. This. That should be here. Here. So this would be uh, 0 and this should be 1. My apologies. That should be somewhere over here. So we have this. Something like this. Okay, and label this as y equals to cos 2x. Okay, and that will be done for question part one. Again, pretty easy. Whenever you have to do a sketch a graph for your trigonometric functions, always proceed with a table of values. And as you can see, I did step by step of how did I choose my intervals so I can work with the exact values on the graph. And you can see I will have both on the same graph as well as you have to always label your graph. Okay, that will be part one of the question. Now for part two, we have to state the number of solutions of the equation. So pretty easy. State the number of solutions. You can see they meet out two points. They will have two solutions. And that will be your question in regards to trigonometry. 